So last night I was watching, what was it? Oh, it was this. It was the thing we're gonna watch today. The dinner, the gala, the Trump was at. He did a. It was like a roast almost. He did for half an hour, but I was trying to watch it on Twitter, and I think the right side broadcasting network was streaming it on Twitter. So I tried to click it, and when I clicked it, it was an ad. It was it was somebody reading a, uh, the latest policy that Trump had put out, his uh, proposal. So this this proposal here, what he was talking about education. And he was reading this. It sounded like it came from the Trump team, the Trump administration, about education. And so this guy was sitting there reading this word for word about what the, the proposal was for education. And what he said was that the Trump administration, a, a thing called America, American Academy. That's what he was talking about. So remember that. Remember American Academy. And I wanted to look up this this morning, but I didn't have any time to. But American Academy. And what they want to do there. Is they very similar to like uh, Bitcoin.org or Sailor.org? They want to offer free education. And this is where we're going here in the future. All education is going to be free. So the American uh, Academy, basically what they're doing is they're going to offer courses on every subject, bachelor degree level courses on every topic, whether that's accounting, law, women's studies, <laughs> I can't even get that out. Imagine paying, imagine going to school and paying a bunch of money, going into debt for the rest of your life to study women's studies. Okay, so uh, accounting, tax, legal, marketing, anything you want. Bachelor degree level education for free. And they're going to have trades in there, which I think is going to be the main thing that people should be focused on. But so he wants to give free education to everybody. That's the American Academy. And what he said that they're, this is what it said. This is not my words, but it said that basically how they're going to do it. He said that to be, you know, very upfront about it, it's not going to create any new debt. They're not going to have to go into, they're not going to have to have any more room in the budget for education for this. They're going to fund it. And the, how they're going to fund it is by taxing, regulating, and fining private Insta uh, private endowments from universities. So just stop there for a second. Think about the endowments, what they've become through the years. Think about like the Harvard endowment, the Stanford endowment. They have mil tens of millions of dollars sitting in these funds. And what do they use those for? Propaganda. That's how they pay for the curriculum. They, they take in money. Like, let's say that Pfizer, let's say that Pfizer wants to give Harvard a grant or whatever, a grant. Yeah. So the grants always come with like stipulations with it. So Pfizer will say, okay, here's, here's $50 million for your endowment fund. Now give us your amphitheater. We're going to have 10 chapters in your book, in your textbooks. And it goes to the endowment fund. That's how all this stuff happens. And that's why, you know, if you're going through the medical profession or whatever profession you're in, all of your curriculum is going to be, it's been funded by somebody. So the, the nurses, the doctors, everybody in these professions, the stuff that they're learning is all propaganda by the, the biggest donors. And so what, what his plan was there is not to tax anymore, not tax people. They're not going to print more money. They're not going to go into more debt. They're just going to start taxing, fining, and regulating these private endowment funds. So think about that. Free education. And I actually heard the guy from Bitcoin and talking about this the other day. I don't know. I was just kind of, I was in and out of it. But he was talking about education, free education. And he thought that college universities in like 10 years from now aren't going to exist. And I, I really liked his idea. He said that, you know, because think about all the infrastructure they have. He said that what we should be doing is actually, you know, having some, there'll be, there'll be some trades need to have in-person stuff. But for the most part, like you, you should be able to learn anything you want. And you kind of already can on the internet for free right now. Plus you got, you know, things like Sailor Academy, American Academy. This is going to keep going in that direction. And so he said that you should take all these universities 
and turn them into old folks homes because think about all the amenities that universities have in them it would be perfect for an old folks home and it, a huge upgrade from what they have right now and think about all the people who are going to be needing housing i love that idea so if, if you kind of start piecing these different things together in terms of less taxes less government free education utilizing the resources and infrastructure that we already have to meet demand that's coming. It just makes sense. So I love that idea. I love that idea from Trump and whether, you know, again, this is just me hearing this. I haven't seen any official tweets or posts about it, but uh, I thought that was genius because a you're giving free education to people. I'm at, just, just think about how twisted it is that you, you graduate from high school you go into hundreds of thousands of dollars of debt, right? To be indoctrinated by the, the biggest uh, donors, you get this degree and that degree probably is going to be worthless in whatever industry you're in, unless you're doing a trade or something like that, obviously. But for the most part, that degree is going to be totally irrelevant in 10 years from now or less. It's just such a sick system that we've uh, that we've let happen here. <clears throat> so anyways, I love that. 